boo. You reckon they'll boo, Jamie? I've no idea what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good morning, folks. It's Phil here, and uh, got me offside of Jamie. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so we're uh, off to do some work today. It's currently uh, oh, probably 18 degrees, uh, six o'clock in the morning, and it's looking at about a 40 degree, 41 degree day today. So we'll uh, try and get our work done uh, while we can in the cool. Uh, yeah, see how we go with the Sarvo. But um, yeah, it's good that we got the uh, kids home from school. So they're on their school holidays now, Christmas holidays. So we can get a bit of work out of them and uh, get them doing all those fun jobs, eh? Like stick picking and changing points on cultivators and all that stuff, eh, Jamie? No. <laughs> He's uh he's got a bit of bit of debt to pay off with his motorbike, so he's keen to do some work. So yes, help debt's a nice healthy motivator. We've just got Jamie doing the offsetting behind the dozers and uh, helping to level out a bit and have some loose tilth there for Robbo. We uh, we need to look after our grader driver. The dozers down here and we're got a little problem to fix up this morning uh, one of the roller cap uh, bolts have broken on the on tiny one so I've got to try and extract that broken bolt and put a new bolt in and there's also a, a cracked cap there as well so we'll just see how we go hopefully won't be too much drama. So yes, this uh, is a cracked cap on the roller. So we'll try and put a new one of them on. And then under here, we've got a broken bolt. So we'll have to undo that other bolt. And then we'll weld a bit of pipe side of that broken bolt and then hopefully you can screw it out with the pipe. Here Jamie, if you want to hold the camera. Jamie's tried his muscles with the three quarter ratchet just to take that one off. It looks loose. Maybe I'm just weak. You reckon? You have your wheat fix this morning? Only three. Oh, got a little turn out of it. That's alright, better than you, so I can give up. Dad, how much do the big, those ones up there weigh? The 
big drive one. Big bolt. No, those big drive final drives. Yeah. Oh, about four ton. Get 
whatever. He's a cameraman. Yep. You have a guy. Show us, show the world your big guns. Cap on where it's school holidays so dad's put me to work um i've been on the little offsets and the challenger um plowing up this three hectare little part we're developing and i've also been on the tiny tot pushing up sticks with the stick rake and yeah there's a pile, few piles all over the place and yeah, I'm getting about to get on the tiny tot to push up a few more sticks that I've offsetted just before. So I'll start her up.
Well, that part's done with the tiny tot. I feel quite smaller in there because Uncle Brad and Dad are over there on both the D11s pushing up contours and filling in gullies and all that. Um, so I'm going to go behind some of the contours and offset them on this. But first I'm going to go over this probably in two or three t more times to bring up all the sticks and rocks and then I get to stick pick. Well, while I was offsetting, I f found a problem on the offsets. That weight came off its welds. And that's like heavy, I can't move it, so don't know what I'll do. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Well guys, I've raced down to um, Dad's Ute, which is probably three, four k's away. Um, got this pry bar. Um, yeah, I tried prying it up, but it's still too heavy, so I think I um, came up with an idea that I'll wrap the chain around here, get tiny top, and I'll pull it out. Let's see if it works. Get this chain. Things one end of this area. One thing I do is lift this up and hopefully that will come up with it. Let's see. Just adjusted the chain so it's more centered. Put you guys here and I'll see if she works. necessarily the cleanest way of doing it but yeah oh well tiny tot saved the day if you're wondering why I'm being a bit wobbly on the camera it's because this tripod thing broke off the GoPro but just holding it by hand now so well there's the roller off the weight off the offsets that's the idler, one of the old idlers off the D11, so it weighs a lot. So I'll probably leave that there, Dad and me can move it 
later in the day I'm knocking off because I can't really move that by myself so I'll get back into offsetting guys man I'm having a bad day now the gang has fallen off out of the offsets and I have no idea how bent this mud scraper looks not too bad and I don't know what to do Well, after three hours in the 40 degree heat, we have it fixed. So you can see the damage with this mud scraper. It twisted and bent it, but sort of just bent it in because it was, oh, that's rubbing on a bit. But, but uh, yeah, Josiah came down and helped put this back on. So what happened was this whole gang came off its little slots here and what we what we found was this little metal plate had came off its weld and bent outward so it made it so this gang slipped out so we re-welded that and fixed it up so yeah, it's a real hot day, 40 degrees. The tractor is pulling this thing nicely, doing about 40% engine load. But yeah, it's going well. Oh, and also, Josiah welded up this roller. So it's all fixed up. Well, we're chugging away nicely here with the offset. So, yeah, this thing tows it quite easily. Well, guys, I'm knocking off for the day, and yeah, it was just we have a little party thing we're going to this Arvo, but. I did about 17 hectares today with that 4 metre offset so it was starting to get a bit wet in patches so it's blocking up a bit where that mud scraper had lifted up from when that gain fell up but oh well see ya when I get pick up the camera next <laughs>